Hey everyone, Collecticon has come to an end and you can definitely feel it. <laughs> it's a different vibe uh, going on right now. Over there is the main panel hall and that's already been closed off. Over there is where the vendors are, people are still shopping. So yeah, it's getting emptier and emptier. Uh, if you're thinking, hmm, couldn't you have picked a better position here because there's a big gap right above my head? No, I couldn't have. I wanted to have this trans flag in it. Because I feel, if you look at the situation, situation in the world right now, I feel like you trans people are fighting the hard, hardest fight at this very moment. You are being hit hard every, it seems like every single day. So I usually pick this flag. No, I want you in there. Uh, I want you to know that you matter, that you are valid and that I see you. I just, just want to put that out there. Once again, I want to show my gratitude for everyone sending me here. I wouldn't have wanted to miss this in the world. Well, meeting you is incredible. You know, I see your profile pics. Sometimes your accounts are anonymous. And sometimes we talk, sometimes we don't. Um, it's good to see you in real life, hear your feedback. I've learned a lot from the feedback this, this, uh, this weekend and it's, it's been incredibly positive more positive than I expected. <laughs> and for that, I'm very, very, very grateful. It's been an emotional ride this weekend. So, um, thanks everyone. without unicorns. Oh, you're falling over, so sad.
Obviously, I want to be in the video with the unicorn. Oh wait, last I remember in, in Clexicon I did something like this. Burp. <laughs> Someone made a comment about it. <laughs> I don't. My voice is definitely different from the party uh, last night, so I don't think I can do it again though. Let's try, okay? Burp. <laughs> did it work? Hi. How are you doing? It's been the post calm blues too, I think. You can never have too much glitter and confetti, right? I love it that they did that here. So, this was a very, very colorful spot. <laughs> Everybody's packing up, saying their goodbyes. <laughs> There's a really sad vibe going on here. Because it does. Your wife, which it is really, really, really does. Funny. It saves lives. I'm Kelsey's mom. Oh my god, I didn't think it was like. I have one from the airport. I need to go home. Um, I'm, like, usually I have like this really bad post com boost, but right now I'm just really, 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 really happy that I can see my wife and kid again. It's been a bit hard for my kid that I was gone. It's uh, it's getting harder the older he gets. So yeah, it's a good thing for me to go home and uh, be a mom again, hug him. So that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Just for the play. Wow, it was amazing. Wasn't it? I don't know, for some reason this time I don't have the first come booze, I just feel happy to sit at home. It was good. six days it, it feels like things went by so quickly and at the same time it feels like a lifetime um, wow I'm gonna say hi to my wife I'm gonna pick her up uh, from work because I'm dying to see her if you like this shirt it's from pride mode they gave it to me um, so what I like about them is that they support like so so many more letters than just LGBTQ they have all these pride merch for yeah for all these letters it's really cool go check out pridemode.com to support them uh, they were in a Klexicon this year but I've been talking about it that they uh, this might be a smart thing to uh, to go next year wow I guess this is it goodbye for now 